What's going on, Big Bang family? It's your boy, Big Bang Joe. And today, we're going to be talking about a $150,000 line of credit that you can qualify for with a minimum 600 FICO. But before we get started, if you're new here, make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know that you're new here. And not only do you need to leave a comment down below, you need to smash that like button, punch that subscribe button, and turn notification bells on because you know I'm going to be dropping bangers every single day and you don't want to miss it. But if you've been here before, you know that I don't like my time being wasted, so I'm not here to waste yours, so we're going to get right to it. So as you can see here, it says, get a business line of credit up to 150 k Apply for a fun box line of credit to help with expenses like payroll, buying inventory, and purchasing raw materials, and maintenance, and more. So Funbox, they have a quick application process. You can get a decision in as little as three minutes. You can have fast access to funds. Funds can be available as soon as the next business day if you are approved. And they have flexible repayment terms. So we're going to go into the repayment terms soon. And it says right here they have no prepayment penalty. But I'm going to explain it to y'all because I actually had this line of credit. I'm going to explain a little bit further so y'all can understand it. First, you want to know, do you qualify? So to qualify, you have to be based in the United States. You have to have a 600, at least a 600 personal FICO score, 100,000 in annual revenue, a business checking account, and you want to ideally be in six months in business. So if you have a business less than two years, this is one of those lines of credit that you can go for because most lines of credit, you have to be minimum two years. Funbox is a, a fintech company. So usually with these fintech companies, they don't require as much, right? So, you know, with other lines of credit, they require you to be in two years or they might require tax returns and, you know, just different financials to prove certain things but this is usually less requirement so obviously it says a hundred thousand in annual revenue but with these companies they're going to require bank statements right three months bank statements and you're going to connect to something like plaid and once you connect to plaid and you have your business checking account they're going to basically go back three months and and look at your last three bank statements but obviously i always talk to y'all about if you don't quite have revenue yet there's ways to move money around in your accounts to look like revenue so that you can access these lines of credit. And if you have credit cards and you have a certain amount of money that you have, you can beef your account up to look like you're making 100000 per year and you can get these lines of credit. So if you're interested in that, book a consultation and I'm going to put you on game for sure. Next, we're going to talk about the line of credit calculator. The difference between this line of credit and other lines of credit, right? They have a 12-week term and a 24-week term. It's different, but it's it's based on whether you can use it or not, okay? So it's 12 weeks, obviously. It's showing your principal, your, uh, your fees, and your total per week. So up here, you can put the amount in. So let's say you get a 20000 line of credit and you decide to draw 20000 It's showing you week one through four. You're going to be paying $1,569 per week. So y'all got to understand that these payments are weekly. They're not monthly. They're not bi-weekly. They're weekly. Okay. So if the, your business is not making a significant amount of income, you probably don't want to use it because you got to pay it back weekly and the interest accrues weekly. So this is telling you exactly if you get $20,000, you are going to make $1,500. Your payment's going to be $1,569 per week if you choose the 12-week term. For week one through four, your fees are going to be 174 And after week one through four, they're basically going to take down the fees a little bit. All right. But your payments are going to increase to 1750 All right. So if you don't have a plan on using this money, maybe for working capital to provide funds and you can get it back in a quick amount of time, you probably don't want to use it because it's they got they got some good fees. Right. And, you know, it's the, the repayment terms is weekly. So it's, it's different. All right. So but it goes up. It's different from 12 weeks and 24 weeks. So, for example, if um, you use a 24-week term, obviously the fees are different and you will be paying a lower amount. All right, so right here it says 739 per week and the fee is $168. Well, so now said, we're going to talk and about it says right here prices shown price. assume a fee rate of 4.66 of the amount drawn for 12 week terms and 8.99 for a 24 week term fees may vary for each customer over time all right so now we're going to go through the application process so obviously you want to put your first name your last name your email you're going to choose a password and you're going to put your average monthly revenue in the last three months you know what your revenue is and like i said when i show you the strategy you're going to know how much money you're putting running through your account so you can know what your average monthly revenues is for the last three months and then you want to put the date your business was established and then you want to click sign up the next you want to put your phone number in so they can verify your phone number after this, it says, let's get started. Enter an amount up to 150000 So let's say you want an amount of 75000 
going to put that and then it's going to ask you what are the funds used for. So you can either put routine expenses other than payroll, payroll, inventory, hiring, employees, and marketing and advertising. From my experience, when you either put payroll or marketing and advertising, you have a higher chance of getting approval. And they actually tell you that. If you call them up, they'll tell you, well, they, we usually look to lend to people that's in the marketing or payroll, right? Or inventory, okay? So this is probably the highest chance of getting approved, okay? So you can put, let's say, marketing or advertising. What percent of your revenue is online sales? Whatever percent it is, it's okay. If it's less than 2%, if it's more than 75, it's fine. Just put that. Do you have existing short-term financing? Uh, I, you know, would usually put no, right? Because they're looking, if you got other financing to determine if they want to lend to you as well. But I would put no, you know, that's just me personally. So now you would just enter your first name, your last name, your date of birth, your social security number, your business address, your home address, a legal business name, the industry type. Obviously, you don't want a high-risk business, but hey, um, I, I go into detail about that in most of my videos. You know, consulting is, is probably the least high-risk, in my opinion. Okay, and then you want to put your business entity. You can be a sole proprietorship, a general partnership, a limited partnership, a corporation, or LLC. And then you want to put your EIN number. So after you put all the information in, you want to check out both of these boxes and you want to click next. So after you do all that, if you set up an account, the next step is going to be connecting your business bank account. So once you connect your business bank account, you're going to log in and they're going to ver and then you're going to either get approved or denied. So let's say you do get approved. So this is what your account is going to look like. So obviously it's asking right here how much would you like to draw so if you get approved let's say you get approved for you know i got approved for nine thousand i did this uh last and i did this at the end of 2021 so i don't use it much um what i tell people all the time sometimes on these lines of credit like this i would use the line of credit for like consolidation like if you want to consolidate you know maybe a credit card that you have that has a balance on it. if it's a personal credit card is reporting to utilization i'll use it to consolidate that so you know in the past, I've used this before for things like that. So if you have a line of credit, just know you can use it to consolidate one of your credit cards. And then once it reports to your credit bureau as zero, you can put the money back, right? So it's a way that you can hide your utilization as well. Um, but I'm, I'm going to tell you what you need to do so you can avoid paying as many fees, right? And with Fundbox, you're going to have to pay some fees. All right, but if you want to draw, you just type in an amount right here and you will click review and draw. And... Once you click review and draw, you can either select a 12 week term or a 24 week term. And it's basically showing you, OK, if you select the 12 week term, your weekly payments is going to be eight hundred sixteen dollars and seventy five cent. And your total repayment is nine ninety eight hundred dollars. You know, so you pay eight hundred dollars in fees for a 12 week term. So obviously you want to be able to pay that money back sooner than that. And there's no repayment penalties. Twenty four weeks is six months. Twelve weeks is three months. So for a 24 week term. Your payments are going to be four hundred fifty dollars per week, but your total repayment is going to be ten thousand eight hundred two dollars. So that's an eight hundred dollar fee for a six month term. All right. So whichever one you want to choose, you can choose that. And after you choose the plan, you can click confirm and you can confirm it. All right. But I want to talk to y'all about this. So when let's say you're using this to consolidate a credit card. Right? So the first thing that's going to happen is once you draw this, it's going to take about a day to come in your account. So once it gets into your account, let's say you try to pay it back the same exact day. They're going to let you pay it back the same exact day, but they're not going to process the payment to the next week. All right. And once they process the payment that next week, the, the weekly interest is going to accrue on it. So let's say your interest was $150. It's going to accrue once you pay it back, there's no prepayment penalties, but they're going to charge you for that next week fee because they're not going to process the payment until the next week. So that's the only downfall about it. They don't tell you that. Actually, they don't actually tell you that they're going to process that fee with the next week's um, fee. So you can pay it back early, but they're not going to process it to the next week because, you know, they're they're trying to get their money. But at the end of the day, it's all good. And once once you pay it back the money, you can draw it instantly again. Um, if this line of credit is for you, go for it. Right. Um, again, I can if you don't have income coming in, I can show you how to move money around in your bank account so that you can get these lines of credit and just book a consultation. I'll put you on game. And for the people that's hating, it is what it is, man. We do this. We're trying to get to this bag, man. If you want to hate, it is what it is. We still going to do it. But with that being said, if you had this line of credit, let me know what you think about it below. If you don't have it and you decide to go get it and you do get approved for it, let me know how much you get approved for it. Come back and leave a comment down below. And we're going to come celebrate that win with you because that's what we do on this side. But 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, punch that subscribe button, and throw a comment down below too and turn the notification bells on. And because you know I'm going to be dropping videos just like this every single day. If you don't want to miss out, if you don't want to miss the game, tune in. All right, with that being said, the top ain't going nowhere. You just got to get there. Let's get it. B, how to go and get it. Steady grinding just behind the scenes. I've been on a mission. Gotta touch him by any means. Till we go how far.